is so easy. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to sew a really simple skirt using a stretch fabric. So there are two options for this one. Um, you can either download the ready-made pattern and I'll include a link for that or if you like you can just simply draw your own pattern straight onto the fabric and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So I've started off by laying my fabric out. It's got the, the right side, the printed sides are facing each other and I've made sure that my top there is nice and level. That's all good. I've taken some measurements on myself. I've taken my natural waist, the widest part of my hips, and then I've also measured down from my waist to my knee to see how long I want the skirt to be. I want the skirt to be 19 inches, but we need to add on an inch at the top for the waist and at the bottom for the hem. So I have measured from the top of my fabric down 21 inches and just drawn a rough line across here. And now this represents the length of my skirt. You can use some scissors, just cut through regularly with scissors, but I've also got one of these um, rotary cutters and I really like to use these. It makes a nice smooth edge. Okay, oh, I missed a bit. There we go. So this part of the fabric, we don't need. I can throw that out of the way. So we have the length of our fabric established for the skirt. We now need to establish the width. And the width of the fabric is going to be enough to go comfortably around our hips, plus add an inch just so that it's not skin tight. And I'm also going to add an extra inch on either side for the seam allowances. So if we open the fabric all the way out, and I'm going to measure from one edge. Now I've got this kind of ruffly curly edge here, the selvage edge, and I'm not going to um, include that in my measurement. But I will measure all the way across being the width of my hips at the widest part plus three inches and then I will draw a line top to bottom and same as I did before, cut off the fabric that I don't need and I'll end up with a piece that is as long as my the width of my hips plus three inches. So now we have our rectangular fabric and at this point a lot of places will just tell you to sew up your rectangle, put some elastic in and wear it. But as you can see it's a rectangle and unless your body is a rectangle as well and your waist is your same size as your hips then it's not going to fit very well. So I think we can do better and I think we can add a little bit of shaping so that your skirt is going to give you a better fit. So I've cut my fabric and I folded it in half so that all of the edges are matching and it's nice and square and that gives me a fold just here so I'm going to line up my fold and just take the scissors and cut the fabric in half down this fold and this is now going to give us two pieces so that we'll have a front and a back to the skirt and it's going to enable us to add on some shaping okay so there's my first piece, we'll put that to one side, and this is my second. So now that I have this one, I'm going to fold it in half again. Make sure that all the edges are matching. And we can get to adding some shaping. Okay. So let's say this is going to be the front of our skirt. I've got the fold running on this side and these are the, the raw edges that I've lined up and we've got our skirt top and bottom. So assuming this is the top where the waist is going to go, I'm going to measure down 9 inches and just put a little mark on the fabric here. Now where I'm marking the fabric, I've just got a biro, uh, just a regular ballpoint because um, I know that I can't see that through from the other side so it's really not going to matter but you should probably use a chalk marker or some kind of disappearing fabric marker to, to draw any lines on your fabric just in case especially if you have a light colour. So this here I'm going to just do that on the other side too. So I've measured nine inches down from the top and this is where the widest part of my fabric is going to come. This will be the hips and then I need to leave an inch at the top, which will be our waistband. So I'm just going to mark an inch here. This will be the waist where that's going to fold over. And now I need to do a little bit of maths. So here um, is going to be the waist. 
and because we've got the fabric folded now into quarters, I need to use a quarter of my measurement. So if I double check my waist, it's 32, a quarter of that makes 8, and I need to add on a half an inch for my seam allowance. So I'm going to measure from the fold over a quarter of my waist, which is 8 inches, plus half, half an inch, and then I will just draw a line one inch down from the top. So looking at it from another angle, this is my fabric with the fold just here. I've measured nine inches down from the top and marked where my hip line is going to be. And then at the top here, I measured my waist and measured one inch down. So now um, I don't have a lot of difference between my waist and hips. You might have more or less than I do. But we now need to draw a curve and it will start from the bottom of this point just here, which is one inch down and it will meet with the nine inch mark here on the side. So I'm just going to draw in a rough curve here between these two points and this represents the difference, the curve of your body between your waist and your hips. Let's see if we can zoom in. Here we are. This is the curve now drawn in. Your may be more curvy than that, but mine's a little straight. It all depends, depends on the shape of your body. So now I'm just going to cut the fabric. I'll cut straight down at the top here, one inch for the waistband. Then I will follow this curve all the way down to the widest point here. And the side seams at the bottom are already cut. And that will give me my first piece from my skirt. And then all I need to do is lie this piece on top of the other piece of fabric I got. I'll transfer the marks over here and I'll cut a second piece exactly the same. Now both pieces for our skirt are ready and it's time for us to start sewing. So we will take our skirt pieces and open them out and place them on top of each other with the printed or the right sides together. And I'm gonna carefully match up these edges at the bottom, follow the curves around and match up at the top and I'm going to match on both sides and then I will add some pins and I'm going to do this from top to bottom on both sides of the skirt. The fabric's kind of stretchy so I'm going to start at the top and bottom then add a pin here in the middle and then pin all along making sure those edges are nice and even. Once I've got everything pinned, I'll take it over to the sewing machine and sew down the sides from the top to the bottom with a half inch seam allowance on both sides. Now I'm going to use um, a zigzag stitch, just a, a narrow zigzag, not a very wide one, because the fabric is stretchy for my fabric in both directions and I want to make sure that if the fabric does stretch when I'm putting the skirt on and off, then I'm not going to burst out the seams and um, make those side seams come undone by breaking the stitches. So I'm going to use a stitch that has a little bit of um, give to it. Check your sewing machine manual and see what stretch stitches you might have available. So I'll sew these now and then we'll come back and have a look at the next step. So the side seams on my skirt are now sewn and we have to turn to look at the hem. Now some knit, a bit like this one, they're kind of curly you see they don't lie very flat, especially if you stretch it, it kind of curls. So that's not going to help us when we want to sew the hem. So I'm going to take the fabric over to the ironing board. I'm going to iron out these seams so that they're lying nice and flat and open on the inside. And then I'm going to go to the bottom and turn up on my fabric a half inch along the bottom like this. And press it and then turn up another half inch and this will give me a nice neat edge and it'll also help the fabric stay flatter when I sew. So once I've got the fabric turned up to the inside and pressed, I'll take this back to the sewing machine and just run a line along the bottom and that will hem that fabric off and keep it nice and neat. So I'll carry out that part now. So this is my hem turned over twice and pressed and I've put a few pins in place so that'll hold it just while I sew. And I've practiced my hemming just on this spare piece of fabric, so I want to make sure that it's not going to get stretched out as I sew. So this is what it'll look like 
once the, the hem is completed. So try and sew in a nice smooth line, quite close to this edge just here, and then it will look at an even distance from the skirt on the outside. So I'll carry on and do that now on my skirt itself, and then we'll be ready to work on the waist. The next step in sewing our skirt is to prepare the elastic. So I've taken a piece of one inch wide elastic and I've popped it around my waist and cut it to the right length. Um, and then I joined the two pieces of elastic. So I've joined them end on end and just done a zigzag stitch across here. And this attaches the elastic together, but it does it smoothly so there's no bumps or overlaps. Now I need to work out the quarters. So obviously this is one. If I fold the elastic in half, just make a mark on the other side here. Then I'll put those two marks together and take it out to the side and make a mark again on either end. And this gives me my elastic now split into quarters. I'm going to do exactly the same with the skirt. So my side seams are obviously a half and a half. So if I put my side seams together and straighten the fabric out where it folds here. I can either make a mark with my pen or I can do it with a pin. And these are the quarters on my skirt. So now I need to match up. I'll go fetch my pins. So I now have the four marks on the elastic. I'm going to mark on the side seam. One is going to match just here. I'll pop a pin, make sure the elastic's not, uh, not twisted, and I'll match this other mark on the elastic to the side seam, pop a pin, and then I will match the fabric centre front and centre back on the skirt with the same again on the elastic, and I want to match up the elastic just with the edge of the fabric. And my last one. Just here. So the fabric on my skirt is a little longer than the elastic and that's because typically when you wear an elasticated waist skirt the elastic is always a little um, a little tighter because that's how the skirt stays up so I'm going to take this now to the sewing machine and I'll start on one of the side seams just here and stitch the elastic close to the edge of the fabric along here but I'll need to stretch it as I go so I will hold between the two pins and just make sure that everything is lined up and smooth and that the fabric isn't puckered as I sew. Now I'll need to use a stretch stitch. I've got a triple zigzag on mine which does a zigzag in three parts. You may have one of those. If not, you can just do a regular zigzag and join the elastic around the top of the skirt. So our elastic is now sewn in once around the top of the skirt, but you don't want to leave it like this because that's not a very nice edge. So we're just gonna turn this over again and the elastic's pretty thick so you can feel where it is and if you turn it over and you want a nice crisp edge up here so don't turn your elastic over so it's all kind of floppy up at the top turn the elastic over so that it's tight to the fabric and you get a nice firm edge and then pop a few pins in and just sew around again stitch around this bottom edge and remember to use um, a stitch which is going to stretch so that the elastic will stretch nicely without popping the stitches when you take your skirt on and off so I'll do that now and then we'll come back and take a look at the finished effort. So that's the stitching around my waist now completed. My elastic is in place and the skirt is finished. So thank you very much for following along with this tutorial. I think um, it's still a nice easy skirt but just adding in that little bit of extra shaping at the top here really takes this skirt to give you a much better fit. 
Thank you very much and do pop over to So So Easy. My next tutorial in the series is going to be for drawing a maxi skirt. Now it won't be the same as this, it will be on the same kind of principles, but if you just simply extended this one down, it would be so tight you wouldn't be able to walk. So you might be interested in that tutorial and that will be coming up very soon.